Hi, my name is Maggie Short and I'm a master's student at NC State University under Drs. Matthew Van, Michelle McGinnis, and David Suchoff. Today I'm at the Sand Hills Research Station in front of our hemp fertilizer study. And this study is part of a larger project that we've been working on to help develop nitrogen and potassium fertilizer rates for floral hemp in North Carolina. We're out here today collecting some data. We are nearing harvest, but we're not there yet. Um, so throughout the season, we've been taking growth index measurements as well as tissue samples. We're also going to begin taking our floral tissue samples today. And these are all things that we're doing to track the growth of these plants throughout the season. And at harvest, we'll take dry weight yield measurements of these plants to compare the different nitrogen and potassium rates. And we'll also take cannabinoid profiles to tell us things like how much CBD or how much THC is in the plants. So today we've got two tests in this field behind me. On the far side of this field, we have our nitrogen test. And that test, we're comparing different nitrogen fertilizer rates, anywhere from zero to 200 pounds of nitrogen per acre at 50 pound increments. And this test I'm standing in now is our potassium fertilizer rate test, where again, we're comparing zero to 200 pounds of K2O per acre at 50 pound increments. We have this study at four different locations. We have it here at ja in Jackson Springs at the Sand Hills Research Station, in Salisbury, North Carolina at the Piedmont Research Station, and at the Lower Coastal Plains Research Station in Kinston, North Carolina. We also have an on-farm location in Bertie County, North Carolina. This is the second year we've done this study, and last year we obtained a few preliminary results. We found that our nitrogen and potassium fertilizer rates can affect our percent CBD and THC in the plants, but how it affected those cannabinoids varied from location to location. We also found at three out of our four locations last year that an increase in nitrogen rate increased the dry weight yield at the end of the season. This project is important for our North Carolina farmers because they don't have localized recommendations for floral hemp in North Carolina yet. So because of this project's multiple locations and multiple year analysis, we're hoping to be able to help our farmers better know exactly what fertilizer rates they need to be using in their part of North Carolina. So this plot behind me, including this plant, is our control plot. So this has zero pounds of nitrogen per acre, and we see that the plants are typically smaller than most of our other plots, um, and they have more yellow coloration to them as they're running out of nitrogen towards the end of the season. This is our 200 pounds of nitrogen per acre plot. So it contrasts very nicely to our zero pounds of nitrogen per acre. You see a larger size, a deeper green color, and we see this throughout all four replications in this field. So I'm gonna take some floral tissue samples that will be used to get the cannabinoid profiles in the plants. And those profiles are gonna include things like your CBD percent and your THC percent. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take two samples per plant. I'm gonna take six inches worth of floral material off the end of a lateral branch. So I'll take one on this side of the plant, one on the opposite side, and I'll take that from multiple plants in the plot so we get a representative sample.